My name is Bradley C. Birkenfeld. I blew the whistle on the largest and longest running tax fraud in the world. My name is Sharon Watkins. I am better known as the Enron whistleblower. My name is Tony Savage. Um, I was a whistleblower for the Rangers and Training Land program with the Huntsville Corps of Engineers. My name is Frederick Whitehurst. I reported issues in the FBI crime laboratory. Corruption and fraud are designed to be hidden and are extremely hard to detect. But the number one source of all fraud detection are whistleblowers. They're the insiders. They witness those crimes. UBS was hiding billions of dollars for clients in Switzerland. I stumbled across some transactions that had masked $500 million of losses. And just discovered rampant contract fraud uh, that was pervasive throughout the program. Alterations of reports, um, alterations of evidence, uh, folks testifying outside their areas of expertise and courts of law. They were deciding, we're just going to prove this guy's guilty, whatever it takes. The whistleblower is exposing wrongdoing, so the type of backlash they face is just unbelievable. When you step outside the bounds of your organization, you are on an island, in essence. You're by yourself, and you have to defend yourself. And that old saying is true, they try to shoot the messenger. If you're the target of a whistleblower allegation and you are guilty, you will do everything in your power to discredit, undermine, and destroy the whistleblower. I was uh, treated with hostility by the Department of Justice when I blew the whistle. No, they were never reprimanded. They went on to retire with awards and honors and prestige while um, I was condemned. Well, of course, it changed my life dramatically. Um, I wasn't allowed to stay at the FBI. When you go home to your family and you can't feed them, and the stress in that house is unbelievable. That's the hell that whistleblowers go through. Some laws protecting whistleblowers are terrible. They need help and advocacy. The National Whistleblower Center was designed as a nonprofit to advocate strengthening the laws and creating a network so whistleblowers would have a realistic chance of winning their cases. People that blow the whistle should be respected uh, and should be protected. I would have to do it all over again because, um, again, I was just doing my job. Silence is complicity. If you don't say something, you're part of the problem. It's really a very important check and balance that helps businesses and the capitalist system work effectively, it helps government work effectively. If the normal checks and balances didn't catch it, if the outside auditors, if the SEC, if other you know, watchdog groups didn't catch it, your last hope, your last resort is a whistleblower. How do you get them to step forward? Guard their identity and give them a reward I think we need to change the culture of this nation. We don't need to see whistleblowers as snitches. We need to see them as people who are doing the job that we want them to do, are righting wrongs, are fixing breaks in our system. And I think really we all want a better society to eradicate the waste, fraud, and corruption. Without the National Whistleblower Center, we will be left to fend for ourselves. Whistleblower protection is a work in progress. It needs citizen support. We need to keep pushing our officials to do the right thing and protecting the whistleblower.